We are here on Real Estate in the Low Country, and our friend Benji Getze is here. And of course, he's going to talk about rates in just a minute. But we have some congratulations in order because you are a three-peat winner. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Well, everybody knows that I love golf. Yes. So um, Hilton Head Amateur Golf Association, real honor. Um, you know, we've worked hard for three years in the mortgage office with the rates, but it was nice to see that the golf game actually showed up again. So three years in a row, got to thank my uh, partner, Quincy Jones, great partner there, but um, big shout out to Bob Collar, Hilton Head Island Amateur Golf Association and Moss Creek. They hosted the event. They always open up the course to us. Very gracious over there. So uh, thanks to Tom and all the members over there, but uh, great weekend and uh, thanks for all they do for amateur golf in the low country. Yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations. That's a lot Thank of fun, you. a lot of fun. Yeah. So we are going to talk about rates and as predicted. So, I mean, you know, we always say that you don't have a crystal ball, but you're pretty good at this. Hey, and I've got a big <laughs> smile on my face right now right. because I know there were a couple of months there where you were real worried about my <laughs> forecast, but I held firm you did. on the forecast. Rates are back in the fives. Um, good news, and as you can see from the rate chart right here, um, it's a 40-year rate chart. I like to publish this rate chart for our young loan officers, realtors, and home buyers because they think the high, the rates we just had for the last couple months are the highest in history. Right. Well, this proves that back in the 80s and late 70s, 15%, 17%. So you can right. see how high the rates can go. But um, next slide here, you can see where the rates are right now. You see where we're enjoying the nice dip right now, and at 7.0. Um, Buford Lending's rates right now are at 6.3, so we're about three quarters of a, a percent lower than the national average. But um, real quick, I want to give everybody a rundown where rates are right now. So yeah. VA 30-year fix is at 5.7%, and then the 30-year conventional is at 6.3%, just like I said. And then um, second home investor loans, 699 and what's really attractive right now is a jumbo at 6.7%. So lots of jumbo loans here in Hilton Head and Beaufort. Yeah. Then FHA, USDA loans are at 5.8%. So uh, about 30 days ago, we did a rate report on the VA. That was at 7.5%. Uh, rate is right now at 5.7 on a $400,000 loan. That's $500 per month savings in just 30 days. So serious savings, serious advantages right now. And uh, what that comes out to is about $90,000 difference in your purchase price in just 30 days. So that's amazing. Uh, yeah, take advantage of it right now for sure. Well, so let's talk a little bit. You said that you're, you know, even less than most other people. How do you do that? How do you, what do you attribute that to? Well, I mean, we, by design, we try to have the lowest rates, but as a mortgage broker, we always talk about shopping the rate right. and shopping it with the mortgage broker. Mortgage broker is going to have the advantage because we get rates on a wholesale level. So the lender does not pay for our retail location. So they offer lower rates. And then by design, we discount some of our profits to have lower rates than everybody else. So we work very hard to have the lowest rates right. and um, we've been the rate provider, the low rate provider for several years now. So Definitely shop your rate, and like we say, you'd be surprised at you know what the credit union, what the bank, and what a broker, the difference in the rate and the dispersion of the rates right there. But yeah. our rates are very good right now, very good tip right now. Rates have come down significantly. Take advantage of it. Don't wait for rates to go lower right. because rates are going to get pretty choppy right here, and um, they could bounce back up a little bit before they trend lower. I do think rates are going lower into 2024 and into 2025, but um, take advantage of it right now because we have a nice dip. Okay, well, so let's talk. Let's delve a little yeah. bit further into 2024, which is kind of amazing. We're going into 2024 already, but so you said it might get a little choppy. To, what does that mean? Well, rates are going to bounce around a little bit. We've talked about it. When rates improve and they're going lower, they're going to improve rapidly but um, they don't go all the way down to where they're gonna go all at once. So uh, we've had a nice bounce down. Rates are gonna go back up a little bit and, and the graphs will get a little choppy there before the rates start trending a little lower. So um, January of 2023, we had a big move down in rates. Usually January is an indicator of how the year is gonna end. December, we're trending down again. Okay. Uh, that's the pattern that happens almost every year. So I'm gonna be watching very closely in January of 2024. What are rates doing? What's the market doing in bond market? That's gonna kind of set the tone for the rest of the year and how we're gonna end up in 2024. But I do think things are lining up. I think we're gonna have very attractive rates going into 2024 and 2025, which is good news all the way around. Excellent. Well, so if somebody is wanting to take advantage of where we are right now, how do they get to you to do so? Well, online, Buford.mortgage or just Google um, Buford Lending. We've got a great digital footprint and um, we will pick up the phone. We will answer it and um, we'll price your loan out in seconds. So just give us a call or email us anytime. Excellent. Well, thanks so much, Benji. Always great information. Thanks for your support.